Ah, the blinking light. Hi, welcome to another episode of Hack a Week and another episode with the Parallax Propeller Board of Education. Last week we left off with our little blinking light um, sequence that introduced you to the Board of Education and all the goodies that are on it. This week we need to talk about coding and software just a little bit more before we jump right into doing all kinds of crazy things with this. I know sometimes learning how to code can be intimidating to say the least because when you first look at it it seems a bit overwhelming. But if you really pace yourself and follow through with this video and with the tutorials that are on the Parallax website under the Learn section, you will become quite adept at being able to program in spin and doing some really cool things with these in all kinds of devices and robotics and anything you want to do DIY. So today we're going to talk a little more about uh, spin programming, object, object libraries, things like that, the serial terminal window and how we can get feedback of what's going on on our computer screen once it's connected with a USB port or otherwise, which we'll get into in the future. But anyway, let's um, jump right into it. We're going to jump on screen on the laptop now with uh, Cam Studio this week doing the recording for us rather than my video camera which failed horribly in the last video. Let's go! Okay, let's get started on another lesson. We start out on the home page of Parallax, go to Learn, and we click Get Started with the Propeller Board of Education. And we went through all this other stuff last week. Now we're going to go into spin programming. So here we are in the spin programming lesson. Download the spin programming code, which I've already done. And we'll move on to the next phase. And this is called Hello from Your Propeller. So we'll get started with a few simple example programs that make your Propeller Board of Education's microcontroller send some simple messages to your PC. On the PC side, we'll use the Parallax Serial Terminal software that accompanies the Propeller tool. So first we need to uh, open up those two tools. Let's go to the desktop, and we will click on the Propeller tool. And then we'll open the Parallax Serial Terminal. And like we did before, we have a uh, Board of Education connected to this computer. We'll click the Run Identify Hardware, which is F7 and we are on COM4 and we need to go to the serial terminal window make sure we are on COM4 okay we are all ready to go now let's go ahead and open the one hello propeller dot spin file here it is and what this is going to do is it will use two objects one called system and one called PST which is the parallax serial terminal plus object and it will call them up here here it's setting the system clock and right here on this section it's calling up the nickname of the object PST the parallax serial terminal plus and it's using one of its methods called string to send the word hello to the serial terminal window so let's go ahead and run compile current load the EEPROM which is F11 and when you do this at the time that you you see down in this section the window will pop up saying loading EEPROM that's when you need to run down here and click enable on the parallax serial terminal window so let's go load EEPROM we'll click enable down here waiting for the busy port and there it is right there you see hello was displayed in the window. Now we can change that to uh, whatever we like. Let's see. How about if we say hello? Hello, Hack a Week viewers. Let's try that. We'll just go ahead and hit F11. And we'll click enable again. Hello, Hack a Week viewers. So there's our text down there that we produced up here with a couple of objects. All right, let's go back to propeller page here and move on to the next one. A little bit about library objects here. Let's go over this again because we talked about it last week, but one more time. 
This is a second look at declaring objects and using their methods in your program. This program declares the Propeller Board of Education object, that's right down here, and gives it the nickname System. Then it calls the Propeller Board of Education's clock method with System.clock, and this program also gives the Parallax Serial Terminal Plus object the nickname PST and then calls its STR method which sends the hello message to your computer. STR is one of the many methods that the Parallax Serial Terminal Plus offers for communication with your computer. So let's look at it all one more time down here. The first thing we have, each object has a file name, Propeller Board of Education, that gets a nickname. The nickname for that is System. And then you can use that in your code. So we're calling up the System object and then we're using its clock method to set the clock speed and then we're calling up the PST parallel serial plus object and we're using the method str to print the text string hello this is very basic to programming everything you have seen right here and learned so now we can look at some of that documentation of what's in the object library in the parallax uh, propeller tool window here. If you look up here in the upper left corner, you see the objects. Let's click on Propeller Board of Education. Now we have right here uh, the object library. These are all of its methods that it has to do things with. So let's look at the uh, Parallax Sermon Serial Terminal Plus. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. Here this is the uh, library and all of its various methods. The methods are listed here in pub. Uh, let's scroll down. We'll take a look at the one that we used, which was uh, str. I know it's right here somewhere. It's in alphabetical order. Here we go. str. There's the one we called up right there. Now, If you want to look at this at another easier way, you can click the tab, drag it outside the window, and you'll have a new window that you can go full size if you want to and really get into this and take a closer look. Let's close that back down. So that's how you can look into the libraries that come with uh, the objects. All right, let's move along now to more stuff that we can do. How about displaying a value? We are going to look up a couple new uh, methods here now in the Parallax Serial Terminal Plus library. One of them is uh, DEC decimal. It's a value and it can be used to send a value as decimal characters. And then another one we are going to check into is a new line. And that's further down here. Here it is. New line. It sends the cursor to a new line like a carriage return when you're typing. So if we go into uh, the hello, uh, one hello propeller, we can change a few things here. Let's go ahead and follow the instructions here on the display a value lesson in spin programming. And what we are going to do is change this line to the number is. And we'll put a colon there. And now we're going to go down one line. Now we'll call up the object Parallax Serial Terminal Plus. And then we are going to use the method DEC because we want a decimal. And we'll put a parenthesis and the number 42 and another parenthesis. Now let's go ahead and upload that. We'll get our Serial Terminal window ready. And if we'll hit F11, and then we'll click Enable. And there it is. The number is 42. Okay, now if we want to actually drop down a line, we can add in that new line command. And that's also in the Parallax Serial Terminal Plus 
library. So let's go back up here and we will insert a line right here, call up PST dot and then our method new line and that should drop us down a line um, this time around. So let's get the window open here. F11 click enable we should see 42 now appear. Yes, there it is. Down below the number is. So that's how you call up some objects and actually make some different things happen in the serial terminal window. So now you've learned what objects are about, how to use them, how to manipulate them, how to get into the object library and look up all of the methods that you have at your beck and call and these are really wonderful because you don't have to write lots of code. You can call these up and do quite a few things. Well, let's move on to the next lesson, the uh, count to ten lesson. If we uh, get into this one, we will go ahead and load that up. There's the count to ten. And we've got some similar things happening here, um, same objects, but we have a variable here called long with the letter i. And down here we have the system being called to set the clock, and then we are going to repeat i, that variable, from 1 to 10. So we will use the parallax serial terminal plus object using the decimal command i, which is this decimal here and then the new line command. So what this will do is use this as the variable to basically run this program on a loop. This little section right here will loop. So it will go from 1 to 10 and each time drop down a new line. Now let's go ahead and get the terminal window open. Let's upload this one and see what we get. There we go. We have 1 through 10 displayed, dropping down a line on each command. So that's how you would do that. It's another way to manipulate things. Now I encourage you to go on further in this. There's the uh, solving math problems type thing uh, where you can enter a value into the serial terminal window and do all kinds of wonderful things there. You can turn it into a program that will do calculations for you. Let's go ahead and upload that one. I'll give you a simple example. Click Enable. So enter a value, um, 12. And we will hit Enter. Enter value B, 8. Oh, 98. I fat fingered it, 8. OK, and then it's going to add those two together and that will equal 1,000. That makes no sense whatsoever. Just try 1 plus 1, 2. Now that's really funny. I wonder why the 12 and the 8 didn't work right. What do you suppose caused the 1,000 to come up? Let's try it again. 12 plus, how about if I go 0, 8, 20. That's why. Computers like to have that 0 in there. So there's another little example. Okay, so like I said, I really encourage you to go on through these lessons on your own now rather than me doing a boring video of more talking and showing and talking and showing. And when you get through this, there's lots of them there. You will have a pretty fair working knowledge of all kinds of things you can do with the Parallax microcontroller. You even get to do like a little push button thing here later. All right, let's jump out of here now and uh, back to the workbench. Hey, JFET, what do you think? Mmm, tasty compass module, he says. He's getting in on the fun. Well, that was kind of cool. You've got a basic understanding now of what uh, objects are and the object libraries and how to look up all of the methods that those objects can do in spin programming. In the next episode, I'll be connecting hardware to the Propeller Board of Education instead of just some wires. We'll actually have some external hardware components connected up. For instance, here's a little compass module. 
and we have an altimeter module and we also have a gyroscope module. These things will be really fun to work with and we can use those in uh, robots, maybe in a drone, in a quadcopter, helicopter, something like that. And all the data that they will gather, well we need to look at that and rather than having it appear in the uh, serial terminal window and connected to a computer, we can make everything self-contained and I can use this really cool 2 by 16 character, 2 lines by 16 character LCD. This is from Parallax. It's a backlit LCD. It has a speaker built onto it. That's kind of neat. And uh, there's the potentiometer for the contrast. The whole thing connects with just three wires. That's all. And it communicates through a serial communication. So next week we will be connecting this to the Board of Education. And then from there, we will add on these other modules and see what we get. So, till next time, keep on hacking.